This is a microscope that we use at Triton. I'm going to go through the name of the parts as well as the function of each part. First, I want to give you a sort of a three-dimensional view. Okay. Um, this is the power button down here on the back. And of course, it turns the power on. What, what that really means is that it turns the lamp on. The lamp is a source of light. And it is right here. It shines the light upward through this structure here which adjusts the amount of light going through the microscope. And then here's where you're gonna have a slide. I'm gonna to get to that. First, I wanna say that this is the base. It's what the microscope sits on. This is the arm, it's how you carry it. And you should always carry the microscope with one hand on the arm and one hand on the base underneath because these are expensive. They're several hundred dollars each and you really don't wanna drop it. Now I'm going to go through the structures according to the list in your lab manual. So we start with arm and base. I've already covered those and I've covered the lamp. The next um, vocabulary word is the stage, which is this platform where you put the microscope slide. And here is a microscope slide. So you put it, I, I have one hand to do this, so I apologize. You put it onto the stage in a way where the um, stage clip here holds the microscope slide in position, in place. See that? That's so that the slide stays put and doesn't slide all over the place on the stage. I just, um, so stage is the black stage and this is the stage clip. The stage control knobs are, <laughs> On the other side, here they are. There are two here and here. One of them, when you turn it, moves the microscope slide back and forth in that direction. So you would wanna line up your specimen, which is here, with the lamp, that's there. And then this other knob underneath, moves it in the other plane. So look how I lined up the microscope slide specimen there, um, right on top of the lamp shining through, right? Okay. Um, so the, these are stage control knobs because they control the stage, right? This is the ocular lens and ocular means eye and it's the lens that you put your eye up against. Notice that it has writing on it right there and the important letters are 10X. That means that this microscope lens, lens has a power of 10, a magnification power of 10. It magnifies the specimen 10 times, X is times. The nose piece is this structure here. I've already moved it, you saw me move it. The nose piece is this part. It holds the objective lenses. There are three objective lenses on our microscope. I've moved the smallest one toward us and see how it has a red ribbon of paint along the top? And then there are numbers on it that tell you what its magnification is. This is the scanning power. The scanning power objective is the weakest and the shortest objective lens, and it has a magnification of four. That number right there tells you what its magnification is. And now I'm gonna move the nose piece so that the middle power objective is facing us and see how it has a yellow ribbon around the top. This is low power. And if you look on the other side, where did it go? Um, there it is. It has a number 10 on it. And that is the power of that objective. And then this blue objective is the tallest and it's the strongest objective that we have. It's called the high power and it has a 40 on it because it magnifies 40 times. It's hard to see. Um, there it is. In person, it's a lot easier to see these numbers than it is with me filming this with my left hand when I'm right-handed. Um, 
So to calculate the total magnification, which you surely will have to do, not just on the lab, but probably on um, an exam, is you multiply 10x for the ocular lens times whichever objective lens is in position. In position means that it is sitting on top of the specimen. So um, right now I have the scanning power objective in position, and then the total magnification would be 10 for the ocular lens, and then 4, 10 times 4 is 40. This is the lowest power that we have. Um, you always start out on this power. For some slides, you're not even going to go any higher than that power. You're going to stay in the scanning power. In fact, for this slide, that's what you would do. But for other slides, you first have it in this position with the scanning power, and then you focus. So um, I'm not ready to show you the focusing yet, but you would focus it into in this position. Then you would move to the middle power, refocus if needed, and then to the high power and refocus again if needed, okay? Underneath, you see above the lamp, is this, um, <laughs> needed to turn it to see it. Here, see that metal lever there? That's called the iris diaphragm lever and it turns, right? back and forth like this. If you had this microscope on and you were looking through the ocular lens, you would notice that turning the iris diaphragm lever adjusts the amount of light that is allowed to come through because sometimes it's too bright, sometimes it's too dim. We also have this knob on the side, which not all microscopes have, but that will also adjust the amount of light coming through the specimen. Finally, the last things I want to talk about are on both sides of the microscope arm, and they are the focusing knobs. And you will notice, I almost did what I was about to tell you not to do, um, that when you turn the focusing knob, I'll try and hold it steady. See the stage going up and down? So this is the coarse adjustment knob. And this is the fine adjustment knob. You won't be able to tell. When I turn this, it barely moves up and down. You use the coarse adjustment knob, the one that moves a lot, when you're in the scanning power objective. When you're in the other two objectives, you have to move to the fine adjustment knob. If you use the coarse adjustment, it'll move too much. It'll move the stage too much, and it'll go way out of focus. And then you're going to have to go back to the scanning power and start over. So you would put the microscope slide in move the scanning power into position, and then look through the ocular, adjust the light with the iris diaphragm lever, and then use this coarse adjustment knob to focus. When it is focused, you move the objective lens to the next power, and then you use the fine adjustment knob to focus. You may also need to add more light with the iris diaphragm lever down here, and then you'd move to the high power and you keep doing that. Okay, that's it.